Hi Scorpio, let's go ahead and take deep breaths. We're gonna take our time, we're gonna hydrate, we're gonna slow down. Bottom of the deck, I have the moon. A time to reveal, like the sun. Welcome to Scorpio season. The number 22 is significant to a few of us Scorpions. <clears throat> You guys can find me on Instagram at KMBR Creation. I also post contents on there and energy updates if you would like to check me out on there as well. Scorpions, I am reminded to tell you um, in your season, happy birthday by the way, clairvoyance, claircognizance, clairaudience, clairsentience to look into this Scorpio. I try to avoid, try, try to avoid these swords in, in these readings, but um, I feel like I can't. So we're just gonna go through it. Queen of Wands. These are all very positive cards, except perhaps this one, Eight of Swords. And then we're going to go ahead and just clarify that. Something um, about the Claire audience is what I'm picking up as well. High-end senses, high-end mobility, Scorpio. That is a message. Um, perhaps your stamina is high-end. I'm going to take that glare out of there. One second. Okay. Um, clear audience, your senses are definitely high end, your mobility is definitely fast, is what I'm getting. In this case, perhaps you're just needing to rest and having to do a lot of hibernation. It's not easy to be. <laughs> the princess the prince and then have to like do chores <laughs> that's funny I'm going to still clarify the um, eight of swords here I just want to make sure you guys are getting like a glimpse or like a clear vision of this and that glare <clears throat> don't mean to be like so annoying here but Let's just move these cards here so you're able to see it. Also in the light, <sighs> heavy emphasis on water, heavy emphasis on um, light as well. Um, a lot of this like revealing oneself, revealing one's identity, you're going into this um, Moments 333 on the timestamp of awakening. We have the magician. Scorpio, I just got this like wave of understanding, like this wave of um, understanding. I just keep getting that. You might have been the one trapping yourself from hearing positive things. Like you're one. Mm, excuse me, you're one trapping yourself from, yeah, you're like, you, you may be one like projecting and I don't mean to like put that out there and put you on the spot like that, but like, I feel like people want to reprimand, sorry, is that the word? Understand. Um, but you may be one just really having to self-deprecate a lot of that energy going on right now. Scorpio is really having to reveal our shadow, perhaps. Do you see how the light is like on the on one side and then the rest of it is like kind of just like fading off there? There's something about, um, 
there's something about scorpions uh, resilience of their like who how they're representing themselves right like this sense of resilience of like keen awareness how scorpios have like such keen awareness of themselves um, but to also be more um to, to also be aware of yourself when you are in anger, when you are in frustration, when you are upset. Because you may be one like spewing this like fire onto people who don't deserve it is what I'm getting. Heavy emphasis on that. I'm really loving this light that's coming in here. I'm getting the, the word hope. I'm also getting that with this ace of ace of cups here. It's beautiful. No no need to fret is what I'm hearing, Scorpio. Like you're probably having to like be on a stand right now with yourself. Scorpio. Like no need to have to like defend yourself. Look at this 10 of cups. Like you're already like I think people see you as this. Number 22 is very significant. I just want to put that out there. Um, like you, you already are this resilient person that you want to be. This like, I'm getting identity, the Hierophant and the Ten of Cups. Like no need to have to worry about what people think of you. No need to have to defend yourself. Exactly. No need to have to like, <laughs> be so spiteful like you have moments of like tendencies of like shooting out fire on, on people and then you're like oh I'm sorry I don't I don't mean to like be feisty but I it comes out like that I'm so sorry it's just like the way like this part <laughs> the king of swords is like I have that face you know what I'm saying like oh my bad like didn't mean to like spew that fire on you just didn't think that I, you know, would bother you, but it actually does, and it makes people feel really uncomfortable. Um, I think you you don't have the consciousness when you are like you're not conscious of it when you are spewing it. So then, like, the way people see you is like this very feisty, spiteful person. But I think they're identifying you as such, but you're not, you know, you're just like in anger in frustration, you're upset about something or like you're trying to understand yourself. Six of swords. I'm getting the word reprimand. I'm gonna put that out there as well. Take good care of yourselves, Scorpio. I will see you guys in the next reading. Thank you guys for being here. Please like, share, and comment if you're resonating with these messages. Would love to hear your story. Sending you guys good vibes. Scorpio, much love and take care. Bye.